Welcome back, Hordlings, to more Might and Magic 1. A lot has happened since we've last spoke, folks. Let's sign in. Give me control of the fucking game. Alright. So. I've been power leveling the shit out of these guys. And I'm going to take you through actually what I did to... Help this all happen quickly. First, let's get the fuck out of here. I need a fresh breath of air. Alright, so what I'm going to try to accomplish in some of this video is show you how to reset the stats on the fountains so that you can continue to push your stats up. Which is something you definitely might want to do. We visited many of the fountains in uh, the previous videos and I actually went and got the might one and the one for intelligence and personality as well and then reset it all, got them all again. So this would actually be like the third time getting all the fountains. Just to give you perspective. I was level 9, I believe, in the last video. 10 at most. Buglug is now level 16. Gets to attack 5 times per turn. Might 36. You can see all the stats have been raised up. I'm not going to go over everything. Just showing you kind of where we're at. This is just pure power leveling. Grinding for hours. Nothing else. Didn't do any quest. Didn't get anything special that I'm not going to show you that I got as a random drop. Didn't advance any of the storyline whatsoever. If you can call this a storyline. Anyways, 207 hit points. He's got the same, pretty much the same weapon and armor. Got some boots of speed which add speed, power gauntlet, and builds of power add power or might. And the undead amulet helps us against fear. This XXXX plate is a random drop I got off some dragon. It's actually this really awesome plate mail, but your character has to be neutral. So Lug Lug is good, and Malice is evil, so no one can wear this plate. And I don't think there's a way to permanently change your alignment. There's ways that it shifts, but it's not worth doing. Um, so that's Lug Lug's badass. Malice, same thing. Level 16, attacks five times. 214 hit points. She's wielding the Flame Burge plus two. These go to plus three. The Flame Burge plus two also give you plus, uh, plus two or plus four might as well. So, they have that dual, dual awesomeness. The Flame Burge plus one, however, doesn't give you any might. Pa belts of power, boots of speed, under the amulet. The turn order, as you're gonna see when we get in a fight, has changed because of these boots of speed. And this is the type of game where a, per a particular strategy might be to take boots of speed off of a character just so they can attack later in a round. For instance, like a healer. But, uh, I don't know. I'm fucking toying around with it. Gank! The robber. He's doing like 18 points of damage. It's fucking awesome. Level 16. He can unlock any chesticle in the world. Did a lot of research into robbers. You kind of need one, or you're going to be fucking up chest all the time. Archers are okay with it, but robbers are like a guaranteed you're not going to get hit with a trap. Maybe one time out of 100. Got 154 hit points, and pretty much the same shit. Upgraded to a fire shield. Dropping the large shield plus two for a fire shield. Now, you guys can't outright tell the stat difference for these, but I've been looking them up to make sure and ensure that they are an increase. So I have a printout of what all the weapons and armor do. Clot the Cleric, level 16. Casting a full cornucopia of level 7 spells. All 7 levels unlocked. 176 magic points, 146 hit points. Bitch has got it going on. And she's rich. Wearing chainmail. Cold shield. Cleric beads give her more personality and the giant mace kicks people in the face. She also is, you know, she ain't carrying shit. It's my princess. Moving on. Rizip. Our female neutral wizard. She's only level 14. The wizards take a huge, huge uh, gap in experience points at this point. So for the rest of the game, they will probably remain two to even three levels behind the rest of the party. 
Um, but at this point, they are unlocked full level 7 magic, so we got some crazy powerful spells. Hit points 102. Mage, 102 hit points. It's a good thing. Flame at Chris, yeah, yeah, we don't give a fuck. Let me go back. Gotta be gentle. A, a Nintendo controller is like a vagina. You gotta be gentle with it. Flaming Club Bracers AC6. That replaces your armor. It's basically six armor class for my wizard. I'll show you something here real quick, which is funny. If you didn't catch it. Flying Carpet gives you armor class. Two points. Wand of Fire gives you fire damage. It's kind of my key bitch. Holding my crystal key, my ruby whistle, my gold key, all that shit. Hopefully the volume's a little bit better. Thank you, Drain. Adjusted the uh, window-specific mixer setting so that the, the NES emulator is not so goddamn loud. Why well, didn't think of that? Don't ask. I got teched by the non-tech. Hit points 103, magic points 130, level 7 magic. Wielding the Staff of Light, which is pretty much the staves. Magic staves are the... or staves, if you know somewhere else. Uh, most powerful weapon for the wizard. Braces of armor class 4, want to fire the defense cloak. Alright, so 6 minutes and 30 seconds to go over that. We could go over the spells, but I think I'll just go over them as we cast them. So the first thing we're going to do is reset all the fountains. I want to show you guys how to do that. So we're going to head to the castle of Dragadoon. So Assuming you have a party of this caliber, cast Fly and go to E1. And really, you should kind of build up in the stages I've done this. Now that I'm looking back in retrospect, this worked out perfect. Like, I elevated to the proper place to grind at the, at the correct time. And so it was actually, it went pretty fucking smooth. And I'm going to show the runs that I did. Anyways, warp the fuck on over to E1. You're gonna start in front of Dusk. You can go in there if you want, but I would say no. Okay, I was gonna say, I thought there was a monster there. Alright, you guys get to see the power of the party. They are a fucking force to be reckoned with. Damage, spells, everything's gone up. Shit is gonna perish. For the record, I did go back and try to fight the succubi again. Succubus. With the demon? No. She still pounds the fuck out of me. We'll come back in five more levels. But, by this point, the game is beatable. All the characters have to be level 13 at least. So what I do with Gank, he's literally, he's just damage control and kind of he can pick off like the weaker guys once you get him weak. But he's really there to make sure I never get hit with chest. The, the traps on the chest are, they're fucking malicious. So this is a spell I do with uh, Clot on weaker enemies. It's just a really weak spell. But it shows, it hurts every character. It's called Swarm. It's a swarm of insects. But it lets me see how many characters are in the in the line. So there's a demon dog, number six is the gargoyle, and the ogre sheep. So I know I have seven enemies. The game can give you one to nine, and then all the way from A to Z. And I've seen it go to like one to nine, then A to, I don't know, another nine characters. Gets pretty diesel. We'll take some shit out of this fireball. 45 damage fireball. Save for half damage. Be lucky. Gargoyles are pretty resistant to magic. 
Werewolf fucking scared. I actually have had dragons flee from this party, so. Ooh, shit, Rizep took a hit. Gargoyle shit his pants. Cyclops shit his only eyeball out. Still running. Chimera. Face fucked five times. Critical hit, 240 points of damage. Lick my balls! You know what? I'm just gonna beat the shit out of you with my little weaklings. Oh, never mind. Malice went along and ruined it for everybody. Cut you into a fucking million pieces. I'm telling you, this robber never fucks up. He's got the robber tools. So I was going to show you armor class, because I thought it was funny. Armor class 9 on Lug Lug. Armor class 9 on Malice. My melee. 12 on Gank, because his speed helps him out a lot. 12 on Clot. 8 on my wizard. And 6 on him. So Gank and Clot have more armor class than Lug Lug. And I'm pretty sure that's due to... The fact their speed is, well, 20. It's alright. We're gonna rock all this up either way. No, these guys got the boots, though. Who knows? Oh, yeah, they got shields. That's why. Good shields. Duh. Alright. So come out here to the dunes. Take your first left out of the woods and go in here. I'm showing you this from Sorpagol, from re from loading a fresh save. All right. Got to get all my maps ready. After the amount of time I played this game, I'd have my own fucking hand-drawn maps. So now we can see... I've mapped... Obviously, I've done this run before. So we're gonna go down. Secret wall. Oh wait, totally missed it. Actually, there is a place I want to go to here real quick. I think there's a fountain where you can turn in money for... Yeah, let's do that. From the entrance. Go five down. Busted left. Don't worry if we run into monsters, folks. This party. <laughs> this party ain't going nowhere. The fabulous fabled fountain of Dragadoon converts all good into motherfucking experience. Man, I don't know. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna save state here because I really am very curious how this works. So let's see here. Seven five six one six three. I don't think I've done this yet. I'm gonna write this shit down. Now. I wanna see if is it one gold per experience? Cause I got a shitload of gold, folks. Okay. So I think I've saved, because this, this is definitely save state. This is the save state happening here. Slash reload. Eight one eight eight five six. That was like almost a hundred thousand experience. Is that worth it? I don't fucking know. 
Tell you what, till I figure it out, we'll leave that fountain right there. But that's where it is. There's a little fucking mappy poo just for you. I think what I'll do is I'll just save gold until the very end of the game, and then we'll come here and cash it all in and try to level up one last time. That sounds like a motherfucking master plan. What do y'all think? Yes, game order. Fucking excellent. Oh shit, somebody's gonna get their dick kicked in. Come on, man. Oh, fuck. Honestly, folks, we don't even have time for this battle, but we're gonna go ahead because we do not run. Rizzo will not destroy everything in the next five spaces, except these guards, because they're immune to goddamn all magic. Killer bees, get on your knees. Yeah. Fuck this guard. Raping him. Rape you for all your gems. Totally in a nice rapey way, though. We have gank just take this motherfucker. Aw, oh, come on, gank. You couldn't take out the gnaw. Making me look bad. Outdoors only. We're in a dungeon. Okay, here's where the cleric kind of sucks. Bitch can't do anything indoors. Protect spells and heal shit, but all of her fucking magic is... Bogus as shit. A lot of enemies. Not gonna be worth shit for experience. It said, guard cast a spell, and then it just, uh, yeah, that's right. Don't fear the Reaper, fear the Ronstock. It's game over, folks. We will do them the honor of scavenging their dead bodies. Maps are confusing as shit, dude. Alright, so I want to go down too. You gotta, like, literally use your map here. Oh, yeah. Down another one. No! Okay. Sorry, go back to the entrance. <laughs> it's 1.20 in the morning. I've been playing board games and drinking all fucking night. But I am uploading this goddamn video. We're getting this done. Okay, so from the entrance, just turn right. So you go right there from the entrance. I'll show you guys all this awesomeness. I don't really need lights because I'm doing this. Alright, go down to level two. We gotta go down to level four. light back on here. Alright. Yeah, they grow rhythmatically alright.
Take that down to level three. Still got our little uh, map deal working. This one all you gotta do is run all the way. Okay, so first of all you have to have a spell, Etherealize, which is called Warp on the Nintendo version. There's an invisible barrier that was in front of me, which you cannot get past unless you have that spell. Which means obviously you need to have at least, you need to be at least uh, whatever, level 10 or 11. Fucked. The centipede burst into flames. The griffin's ball sack is on fire. All these griffins are not feeling too well. Malice decides she'll cut this wraith a new asshole. Or five assholes, maybe. Kink is gonna shoot a bitch. Centipede, right in the fucking face. Critical hit. You're done. Who's next? Let's see, what do we got here? Should we do Moon Ray? We can't. Gotta be outdoors only. Same with Swarm. You know what, Clot? Just fucking... Just block and shut up. Oh, we're about to kill some Griffins. You're dead! I was gonna let you hit me, but... That griffin shit his pants, that griffin shit all his feathers, and that- And fucking only the ant had the balls to stick around and fucking die to completion. 916 experience, I shit that. The next video will be how I experience- how I level my guys up to this- From level 9 to level 16 in... I don't know, 10 hours? I mean, but that's, you know, with a lot of interruptions, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Good thing is making sure you're getting gems as well. A lot of these later spells take gems, so as you see, I got 133, and 125, 129. Gank ends up building up gems, and then I redistribute them. So I just keep running around this level. I'm not gonna bother casting light because I've already mapped this. The, the whole purpose of light is to actually map your mini map. I could have also cast a spell and avoided that, but I'm trying to show you how to get here with the least amount of pacing away gems and stuff. I thought this shit out. We're gonna get another light spell here just because it makes me feel better as a person. We are on level 4 of Dragadoon, which is a bitch of a level. So here's what you want to do. Oh no, this, are we on fucking 3? Oh shit. Wait, no. This is 4. They consider the top level my dick. Anyways, this is the bottom floor. So you come to three doors. On the right wall is a painting of a box. On the left is a painting of a curtain. Door number two. Have your robber open the door. Who never fails opening doors. Go to the edge here. Because there's all kinds of teleports in this level that'll fuck you up. So step out once, turn left, and go one, two, three, four, five maybe? Yeah. Once you see this door, run to it. And hope the monsters down here don't rape you. Because they will if you give them the chance. Kick this fucking door in and talk to this guy. He gives you a mission. The cleric speaks. Here are the three tones of the game hoarder's bones. Down his pants you may roam. And return. So we need to go listen to three tones. Has nothing to do with my bones. 
open the fucking door again. Most annoying fucking feature of these dungeons. Alright. So you get back out here and there are gongs all over the place. You're supposed to normally run to them and ring them and in randomized order they might let off the right ring, they might let off the wrong ring, they might te just teleport you randomly. And the Nintendo game is completely random, but because we have save states here and we're just doing a how-to video, more or less, <laughs> we may or may not decide to use those. The first time I did this, I did it legit. The first three gongs that I hit were the three tones that I needed. So I got lucky or I hit the right ones. I don't know. Anyways, let me show you how to do this. We're going to use the uh, save state in case we get teleported to the wrong place. And that's just so we save a lot of fucking time on this how-to. This is a how-to video. This isn't an actual LP video. Alright, so we're outside the cleric's door. What you can do is just head toward this wall. You should have etherealized by this point. So if you turn toward the wall here, and you can cast that magical fucking spell just says, I am walking through walls. Okay, so we're past the barrier. If you uh, don't come this close to the wall, to our left is another barrier that I just walked out of. So you know I can't walk back. Well, I just wasted magic showing you guys that. Fuck me running. Should have used a save state right there. Anyways, I'll cast it again. <laughs> Fuck me. And we're gonna open this door here. Now, the reason why we're using save, save states here is because this is a grind. This is, if you do this on the Nintendo, the actual system, or if you do this on an emulator, it's a fucking grind either way you look at it. So, what you're looking for is the five different distinct rings. That's the mellow tone. So, mellow's done. The other two we need are the sharp and the loud. What they, what they don't tell you is when you hit the, uh, when you hit the gong, it does teleport you to a new place. So now, as you can see, we're back out here to the right. And I think we want to go on the left side. Okay. Might change, it might not. But I'm going to do the same three that I did last time, and we're going to find out. So we'll do... We're burning gems doing this. Walk along the opposite wall. Don't get attacked by a bunch of pussy orgs with 61 hit points. Because we will butt fuck them. I butt fuck 61 hit point orgs. Fifty-three. Devouring your health, bitches. Oh, Drew is lucky. But that orc ain't. Cut him into five fucking pieces. Night night, motherfucker. Shooting this guy right in his orc dick. Night. Goes down. <laughs> Only time I heard that tonight. Outdoors only. Would you stop telling me that? Just block. No, I think we'll drop another. We'll drop another firebomb in the back row. I'm not pulling out the big guns anytime soon. Trust me. I got the next several videos mapped out. We're gonna mop up this goddamn game like nobody's business. Game holder's been doing his homework. Do 20 damage. Yeah, snarf, snarf. You better run. Stop running though, I want the experience. Look, look, attacks, and he cuts somehow the head off the orc five times. Cast the bolt here just to make things fun. This battle is over.
Weak shit. Are you fucking pissed dick shitting me? A red dragon? You know what? Go to fucking sleep, red dragon. You're fucking no longer in the picture. For being a dick. Oh, I'm, now I'm out of motherfucking points. Oh, well. Guess I can't do shit. Storm Giant? I haven't even fought a Storm Giant yet. Ooh, I'm fucking excited. That'd be so funny if I just got mopped up right now. Like, you cocky motherfucker. You got, you got done fucked up nonstop. God damn it, how many times have we been trying to do that? Um, I'm trying to think, uh... Well, let's check our hit points. I, we haven't even been damaged. Malice, here. Take some health. I guess you're drier in the sky. No, you got a little bit. Ooh, we're dropping a fireball. I want to see what we have in store for us. And we got question mark storm giants, which puts them in the 99 plus. Come on, take 52, bitch. Damn it. There we go. What? Fucking your your brother pussy storm giant <laughs> ran away. God damn, guys. We're not gonna hang out and fucking play? Oh, you fucking vaginas. Too much sand in the vagina. I understand cockatrice. Go cock a fucking cock. Get the fuck out of here. 6,000 XP. That's more like. That's like. Yeah. We take that. We take that. We fucking like it. Alright. Shit balls, McNuggets. Alright, let's get our fucking spell back up. Bitch, actually, we need to camp. We're out of spell points. Night it! Ah! Ah! Ha ha! Ha! Oh, man. You guys. This game is cheap as fuck. Pyro Hydra? What the fuck is this shit? You've got to be dicking me. Alright, shit just got serious, man. Shit just got fucking serious. Shit just got fucking serious. Oh, what the fuck? Fucking goddamn Claude, you can't do shit! Pyro Hydra elements. Protect us against fire. Fuck it. Caveman, I will rape cavemen all day. Sorry, I don't use that word freely, but... Pyrohydra running away! Stop running, people. I'm here to deliver you your fucking end. Like you, Pyrohydra. <laughs> night, night! Alice, oh, you want a piece of this bitch? Another Pyrohydra bites the dust! Why do I feel like I'm missing a character? Oh, you cast Asleep? I cast Awaken. Oh, everyone gets their turn. Sorry. Don't fuck with me. Not enough points. Oh, that's because I interrupted my sleep. Son of a biznitch. She's got some juice. Come on, Fizzle my nizzle. It's like a triple battle. No rest. Caveman shits his pants. You're not taking her down. You missed, you fucking cunt. Stone Golem, guess what? Your time is over, my friend. The Rontok has battled, and you guys are out of fucking excuses. So as you can see, I can go where I want, do what I want. Oh, you just let me get full health. You fucked up. Once you grind at this point, the game gets a lot more fucking fun. Alright, let's see. It's been a fucking journey, though. God damn. Alright, so they threw me way over here. The fuck? Oh, yeah. 
So walk this room one way. Warp again. Same thing we did on the other side, excuse me. And these two Jesus! I swear to god they never fucking threw this many characters at me. This wizard, guess what? You can summon this dick. Go to sleep. I did this whole dungeon and got in like two fights. We got all kinds of shit going on here. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be great for you guys because you're gonna get to see me fuck up all kinds of shit that I would piss my pants at in the very last video. This is what grinding gets you. I didn't even want to attack these pussies because they're a waste of an attack for Malice. Just do whatever. Who gives a fuck? I'm in a bolt, anyways. Uh, whatever. Hit this bitch. Everything's gonna run. That's the thing, is when you get to a certain level, and I'm not even that high of a level. You get up to, like, level 25 in this if you want to. Um... But yeah, we're gonna mob this shit up. So far, there's two battles in the game I found that... I need to... continue my growth. But I got plenty of shit to show you until then. In other words, this game is going down. Raider Demon! Take a fucking... cat nap, bitch. 220 points of damage, you motherfucking dome piece! Welcome to the Might Magic Ghetto! 3,000 experience, and I'm here to tell you folks, that ain't shit. I'm gonna show you a run that I do that will get you 30, 40,000 experience in 5 minutes. Just kidding. Like 15 minutes. But it is far superior than this shit. And yes, I figured all this shit out on my own. To trial and tribulation! Alright, fuck, I forgot where I was. Check our health. Oh yeah, all in the hundreds, plenty of MP, plenty of motherfucking gems. Okay, so we want to go in this last door for shout. Gang, you probably got pig it. Covered with cryptic symbols, a large brass gong hangs from the ceiling. Strike it? Well, fuck yeah, strike it. Strike this dick. A sharp tone assaults your senses. So that's the other tone we needed. And then once again, teleports us to some asshole place. So what you can do, if you got the gems, just walk... Oh man, they put us behind a fucking barrier? Bunch of dickheads. Alright, so... Well... Here, I'll show you. There's a fucking door here. Oh, it's entrance only. Alright, well... Best thing to do then is just warp right through this shit. It's gonna suck up gems. Damn. I will kick the shit out of fire lizards. Get the shit out of my face. Who the fuck am I fireballing at night? Swordsmen? I love fireballing swordsmen. Dust demons? Explode like fucking fireworks. Spectres? Spectre my anus. Another fire lizard. Decapitated. Gang! Just shoots a random fire lizard like, fuck you! Take a little green ball to the face for 10 points of damage. How's that make you feel? I look at my hit points and I say, I'm golden. I'll block. And then I say, my mages will cast bolts of lightning from the tips of their penis. That's 
Swordsman is negative 45 fucking hit points. You think he's coming back from a resurrection spell? Fuck no. You basically narked. The level is drained, you motherfucker. Spectre's got a new s Finkter! Fucking dick. Fuck him up, Rizzit. Malice. Show him, bitch. Yeah. This is ghetto. Shoot him, gang. Right in the patooter. Game fucking over, baby. So, I think the level is just for the battle. Level 16. We should all be 16. 16. 16. 16. And these guys are going to be 14. Because they're always going to be two behind for now. Alright, so, just to speed this shit up, I'm just going to piss away the gems. Uh, another warp. And you need another warp. Trust me, this is worth it. You only gotta do this so many times to buff your stats. This time, take the second door from the left. Last time, this was all three of the, uh, all three of the fucking dudes that I needed. Uh, gank. Covered with cryptic symbols and ceilings and shit. Do you wanna strike it? The loud tone resounds throughout the room. Pretty sure that's the last one we needed. Alright. So if you get lucky and get all three of them on your first turn like I did. Awesome. But no one's mad at you if you save stated. <clears throat> Holy shit, vampire. I don't think I've seen one of those. It's awesome. However, Malice is an end of vampires, so she's gonna fucking kill shit. Got this blessed too, wonder how that works on vampires. Oh, <laughs> it eradicates the fuck out of them is what it does, holy shit! That cost me some gems, but that fucked that undead right up. Alright. Good battle. Two run away. One run away. One does 15 damage. And 14. We got that. Well, it took a goddamn hour to show you how to reset the balance. So what you do now is you get lots of experience. I'm into, I'm into, uh, my guy's just a fucking badass. Plenty of, uh, yeah, we're good. I deem you worthy of advancement! Alright, so, now it's time to start hitting these fucking fountains. We can probably do this. We're gonna do this all in one fucking bit. So, the first thing you wanna do is get the fuck out of here. Cast your, um... Rise spell. Or surface. And you wanna go right back in. Because, the... Luck Fountain is in here. And it is on the first level, which makes it even more fantastical. 
So to do that, from the start, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And your right, walk through the wall. Go one, two. Left, walk through that motherfucking wall. Head down to this motherfucking wall. Turn right at this biatch. And then say, hello door. I'm gonna walk through you. And then my cleric is gonna give me some light because I wanna make sure I can show you this on the mizap. So we're down here and we do what you do the spiral. Alright, so here's the thing about fountains. Apparently in the Nintendo version. You want to, they max out at like level 30, 31, they won't, they won't give you your full ability. That's what I've read. I've actually found something that disproves that, but we're going to find out for sure. So everyone's luck is 20, 21, 22, 20. Luck isn't a big deal, guys. It's good for your robbers at most. For opening chest. So everyone's far clear of 30 on that stat. So here's the green clover. Now it's funny because then in the uh, PC version of the game you only get plus two to your stat. So you gotta you gotta grind this and do this a lot more. The Nintendo version decided to give you plus four, but check this out. Notice how it says plus four here? Wait till we go find some of the other fountains. They actually did a typo, and they only say plus two, but they give you plus four. So, we'll check Lug Lug. He's at 24 now. He was at 20. 25 luck. So we're getting very lucky in the chair. Our robber's 26. That's good. Okay. So now that that fountain is done, we will again jet the fuck out of here. Take you on the road to excitement, folks. This time we're not going to enter Dragadoon. We're going to get our good old fly spill out and go get some motherfucking personality and some intellect and some might and all kinds of good shit to make us feel all right. All right, so let's go ahead and let's fly to dusk. We're actually not that far from it. We just walked to it. But it's easier just to go ahead and fly back to E1 and you'll appear right in front of it. I'm showing you the efficient run that I did. Which is probably not efficient, but it's efficient for me. So once you get into dusk, you just want to be pointed south. Run all the way south and into the dungeon. We're going to get two of the fountains in here. And you gotta have etherealized to do it this way, then I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna totally half ass it, but I'm gonna show you basically how to uh, get it done as quickly as possible with this kind of party. Alright, so here we are in dusk. From the stairs, turn right, head into this wall, and cast warp. It's going to put you right there in the Flame of Agility. It's going to give us all plus 4 to speed right away. Speed 29. Speed 28. Speed 24. As long as we didn't hit 30, we're alright. Okay. Everyone got a speed boost. there you can exit the wall you want to cast levitate
run all the way up to the wall. Go through this door. Kick whatever ass you need to. These guys are fucked. Eh. Be better off with a fireball. The reason I'm not dropping big bombs right now is because they cost gems and it's important that you save gems. Gems are not... Unless you farm gems, you're not going to have a bunch of them. And I haven't farmed them. I've been farming levels and kicking ass and taking names. This orc is fucking toast. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Most of these guys are going to probably run away. I'm fucking way OP for them. It's kind of funny, because it's like your first turn of the party is what the what's the experience you're actually getting. Everything after that is what can get away from you in time. Get another light spell going. Alright, so when you walk in here, turn left, cast one more warp spell. Stalactites, you can't do anything about that. And then you get the Prism of Precision, which gives you plus four accuracy. Accuracy 26, 26, 26. You can do this one more time. Get everyone to 30. I think after 30 you stop getting uh, dividends, but I don't know. Just showing you guys how to motherfucking do it. How to do it, do it, do it well. Alright, so we've done luck, accuracy, and agility, right? Luck, accuracy, and, excuse me, speed. Let's go do my endurance personality and intelligence. First thing you want to do is exit the fuck out of here. God damn it. So many spells, so little time. Alright, let's go get some fucking intelligence. We're going to probably blend this into the next video because there's still quite a lot to do and more I want to show you. But uh, that's all good. Go ahead and fly to E2. The desert land. This one's pretty easy. You just got to be able to survive the desert. These guys aren't going to do shit. This fucking battle is going to be over before it started. Don't retreat. Don't ever retreat. Just get the fucking free gold and experience. It's going to be a massacre. Fucked up, son. I'd do Moonray now. Fuck it. Do some Moonray. This heals me 1 to 30, all my party, and this does 1 to 30 damage to all enemies. So, what I rolled was a 20. Uh, it's basically 3d10. So, I got a 20, I guess. 
Oops, fucked up. Oh well, Fizz is still gonna slash a bitch. So it heals me... 3d10 and it does 3d10. God, none of you are gonna stay to play? Very disappointing. I will take what treasure I can get, though. Alright, so... Basically, we're headed toward that mountain in the northwest. Oh, we didn't want to hit teleports, though. So, don't get close to the mountain. Stay on the outskirts. Whoa! Scattered remains of a metallic craft. An alien grunts. Eep boop boop! We talk to it. Marlene Stakeheed, our prisoner, has escaped and may be disguised as a noble. Find his counterpart to expose him. Alright. Alien remnants. And if we turn there and go north. For intellect. Alright, so this is a good point. Reloaded my game to show you guys this. When I took that buff, my intelligence was already 29 on both characters. The fountain didn't give them any buff. What you want to do is remove anything from them that gives them any kind of intelligence. In this case, I don't think they have anything to use them intelligence. But, had they had something that gave them intelligence, you'd want to remove it. Because it will uh, hinder them getting any more over 30. So let's see someone who doesn't. 22. Okay. So let's check everybody. Lug Lug, 22. Malice, 21. Gank, 23. And I believe Cod had 22 as well. But Rizup and Fizzle both have 29. So watch what happens. You get four in a left. Lug Lug went to 26 from 22. Malice went to 25 from 21. Gank went to 27. Thought went to 26. Still 29. So basically, you're kind of stuck there. The only thing that can improve past 29 is if you get some kind of magical equipment. But I'm still going to show you where all the fountains are, right? Alright, so that's intelligence. Let's get on with the motherfucking show. Next one we're going to do is personality. Super easy. Get your motherfucking mage out. Cast your fly spell. And all you got to do is head to D2. Alright, so from here... Well, there's going to be some fights. Unless you teleport. There's a fight right in front of me. So if I wanted to skip it, I could go... Just trying to show you guys different methods. We're going north. Let's uh, go ahead two steps. Whoa, spell fail? Maybe I can't teleport you. Okay, guess you can't. Alright, so we're going to fight. Guaranteed fight here. Nothing that's going to concern us whatsoever. I think I'll just show all the fountains in this video. 
and we'll just let it go as long as it needs to go. It's a good tutorial. So again, we're on D2. Going for the personality fountain, it's super easy. There are, of course, ways to get to these fountains a lot earlier. I just chose to, like, overpower my characters and be a pussy about it. But that's essentially what's going on here. Getting your mages up to at least level 13 to get the, uh, the Theorize, or, or excuse me, level 6. So I think they need to be at 11. Level 11, 10 or 11 to get level 6 spells. But well, anyways, that spell changes the game. You can just burn through walls. But it costs gems, so... I completely printed out my own little Excel spreadsheet of all the cleric and sorcerer spells and everything I would need to know because all the data I have is based on the PC Commodore game and the spells have completely different names so I had to rename all the spells and I have a little chart that I'll show off. Alright, so we went through the first battle. There's going to be another one. It's guaranteed. It's right here. But it's a small price to pay. Evil Eye. Go ahead and die. Wolverine. Get the fuck out of my face. Oh shit, I'm out of spell points. <laughs> Been drinking so much I forget to camp. I'm just like ripping through all this shit. Caveman. Back to, yep, you're dead, you Neanderthal motherfucker. Gank, well, he decided to gank a Wolverine. Eh, wow, a warrior. I'm not sure I've ever fought a warrior. I'm just gonna swarm and see what we got going on here. Super low damage, but gives you an idea of what you're up against. And I'm not really worried about this fight whatsoever. But this warrior does interest me. Two warriors. Ooh, I think that's even a new graphic. That's beautiful, because I'm trying to show you guys all the different characters. There's like 20, 30 different graphics for the entire 200 onslaught of monsters. So we're going to throw another fireball down here. Because it's going to eradicate some shit. Yeah, those warriors are new. I don't recall those. I've never seen them. It's awesome. Ah, oh, come on! Ah, oh, fuck! I wanted to so fucking slay you dead. You fucking mangina. So at this point, we're just gonna... rip it out. How come Malice didn't attack? That's my question. Oh, the speed. Really? You put her back in last? I think Malice might be incapacitated. <laughs> yeah. She fainted. Whoops. Sorry, Malice. Uh, oh! Oh! We don't have Malice, but guess what? Clout will get her up. Oh, Malice dies! Oh shit, I got a Rezzer! Man, I'm glad I've been saving at the end in between all this shit. We gotta wake Lug Lug up. Which 
which we're going to. Might as well take him out of the picture. Now you're dead, motherfucker. We don't want anyone to be down, so what we do is we we'll block. I've neglected my characters, unfortunately, to an extent. Luckily, he ran away. That way, everyone gets experience. That's a night attack. There's nothing you can do about that. We're lucky we survived, to be honest. But now we're full health, and they are fucked once again. The Resurrect, by the way, doesn't uh, have any negative effect. It's the level 2 Resurrect that brings you back from eradication. It gives you 10 years to your life, which means you need to cast a youth spell on yourself. Uh, and it also removes a permanent one endurance, which is pretty shitty. We don't want that to happen. Anyways. There's a lot of encounters here. Pegasus, these are all gonna fucking try to run away. I kill them, because fuck Pegasus. Give you lots of gems. Supposedly this decreases your alignment. You're supposed to bribe and, and try to not fight. <laughs> no, fuck you. You interrupted me and my venture. I'm destroying the shit out of you. By the way... Fucking uh, Might and Magic 2 will start immediately once I've defeated this. I am going to, they're gonna be so successive of one another, the timeline will never end. But, anyways, that's how that's gonna work. I don't even want you to attack, you being a little pussy. Decimating the shit out of shit. Pegasus is taking a hike. Panthro missed. They're all fucking running. Bunch of fucking pussies. They are fucking literally afraid of the Lug Lug party. Alright, so once these fucking cocksuckers stop fucking with you. And by the way, you take food damage here. Don't approach the monster, just leave them fucking be. They're a bunch of little pussies. Alright, come here. Alright, so here's where we need to also look at our stats. Because this is going to matter. So Lug Lug, uh, he's good. Personality 20. 20. 19. Clot, 34. That's a problem. 20. She might not even benefit from this at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to camp, say no, remove clot. She has cleric beads which are making her plus four. Let's see if we can trick the numbers here. Twenty-nine. So she's not going to be able to get it. Alright, so I'm going to save state because I'm want to. i seriously curious about this. Alright. Hopefully that worked. This is plus two. Guess what? Actually gives us plus four. Check it out. 
24. He was at 20. So yeah, they had some typos in that. And see, now it went to 33. That's weird. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So what we do now is... So why didn't Rizup and Fizzle get plus 4 to their 29 intelligence is what I don't get. Hmm. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. It seems like the 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 perception personality trait rather isn't affected. So put the cleric beads back on her. Whoa. Twenty no, wrong guy. Thirty-eight, exactly. So the perception beads gave her plus four, the cleric beads. Yeah, so she's at 38. So, different stats. It's it's definitely a programming error. The stats that say plus 2 seem to go past the 30, but the stats that say plus 4 in the game do not. I really don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Anyways, that was the personality fountain. Let's head to another one. Alright, we're going to do the last two, which is Endurance and Might. Which out of all of them can be kind of tricky, I guess, maybe, kind of, sort of, but I'm going to show you the best way to do it. Go to B1. Alright, I want to be pointed south, because we're going to go south. And just keep working your way through these caverns, because we're actually trying to head over to another region, but this is the only way to get there without using a warp spell. So you're gonna go over to A1. And it's dark in A1. I'll go ahead and cast a light spell. So there's two ways you can do this. I could... I'm just gonna show you how to get there without warping. Cause all you do is follow this bend. Oh, I can't show you that. We just follow it all the way around. There's a fight here. Just beat the shit out of them. Banshees, you know. Wailing bitches. Wailing for Lug Lug's cock. They know better. We got a Medusa down here. She's gonna be fucking toasted Medusa. 19? That's the lowest goddamn fireball I've rolled in 38 fucking years. Terrible. Banshee number two. Fucking toastito. Now I'm gonna pick on this Medusa. Because the only person that stones my bone is the lucky lady. Fuck it, let's swarm it. Swarm's nice because you can do 15. You can I think it does up to 30. Uh, but it doesn't cost any gems. And it hits everything. So it's great for real low-level shit. And Clot's doing good fucking damage. I didn't mean to do that. That was a little feng shui on my part. Most shit's gonna run away from a big bad run stock. And those that don't, well, they'll be eradicated in round two. Oh, I'm sorry. Got to chop you into 17,000 pieces? Well, call Humpty Dumpty's men, motherfucker. So you do a fight. Let's go ahead and check our uh, endurance here. Endurance is, gives us extra experience, so... Really? Only 20? Man, they really started us off with some shitty pre-gen characters. Wait till you see the motherfuckers I made in Might and Magic 2. 21... 20... So we could do another run on the endurance.
Full health. Let's say. Plus two endurance, right? No, they gave me plus four. So there's the typo. The Nintendo on some of the fountains says you get plus two, but you actually get plus four. Malice had 21, now she has 25. 21, now he has 25. He has 20. So, Alright, so the last fountain to do is the Might Fountain, which is the more difficult, I guess. Maybe, kind of, not really, when you're this powerful, but let's go ahead and do that one. Alright, so... Might and Magic. Let's do it. Oh. Gotta get to the town of Portsmouth. In order to do that, you need to go to Sector B3. Do this turn and go into the town. This is the town where the bitchy succubus kicks the shit out of us. So you want to be careful. Matter of fact, while I'm here, let's go ahead and save. It's an official save state. Make it legitimate. Go down, let's check our health. Okay, we're good. Look at that. 200 hit points. Motherfucker is at 51. It basically takes like a certain percentage. Pretty raw dog. Go down, take the stairs. Go ahead and rest, because you're going to need to. If you have males. This is why some of the walkthroughs tell you to build all female characters. Fuck that pussy shit. Yeah, fucking break. Who the fuck does that shit? Alright. So getting this uh, is way easier if you have the full um, complement of magic spells. Let's go ahead and get a light up. Just so I can show you the map. It's really easy to do this. The last and final. And we're gonna we're gonna pick up a treasure too. Fuck it. Demons and conference. Maybe we'll go disturb those motherfuckers. Anyways, just walk north. I think we're gonna go break up the demons and conference. I just saved. Fuck it. Why not? So just keep going north. Let's go fucking interrupt a demon party. Team is in conference, do not disturb. Good thing I saved. Alright, let's do it. Demon Lord. I haven't killed one of these yet. They're fucking beast. I bet that just fucked him up good though. Oh yeah, dude. Alright, let's try to fuck up these lesser demons. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have done my mega spell. I'm going to. We're gonna win this. Oh, I'm fucking up minor demons. Minor need demon wasted. Demon Lord, guess what? Fucking say goodnight, baby. Oh, we're gonna get some good experience off this one. I'm gonna launch a fucking spell. Watch this shit. Wait till you see Meteor Storm. Cost me five gems. Oh, it's outdoor only! <laughs> Joke's on you, game hoarder! Um, Sword. Dancing Sword. Pretty good spell. It's everything. Looks like it comes off as kind of a melee attack. We should be alright here. That demon lord though, those are bad motherfuckers. They will ruin your fucking day. 
We got really lucky we killed him. Ooh, shit. Seven times the dome piece. Ooh, this is fucking... It's a Demon Lord battle, baby. Oh, come on. Um, well, greater demons. You guys are gonna go fucking nighty-night, motherfucker. Bolt the shit out of you now. Game fucking over, man. You're lucky. One hit point left. We broke up the demon party. We're about to get a fucking experience load. 14,400 experience. That's more my speed, baby. That is more my fucking speed. Thank you. Backpack fool. Holy shit. We need to drop stuff, son. Yeah, let's drop. Let's fucking rest it up. For shits and gigs, baby. Alright. Uh, scroll of fire. Uh, we don't need chainmail. Staff plus two. Mace of the Undead. I think that's evil only. Wow, we got some good shit to look back. Look up. Later. Mace of the Undead. I haven't seen that. Will's Bane. We definitely don't need. Holy shit. Look at all that shit we got. Plate mail. Eh, no, fuck it. I'd rather pick up other shit. Immortal sword? Oh, shit! I... I'm not even gonna look at what that does. I'm not even gonna look at what that does right now. That could... I think that could be a sick fucking sword. I'm gonna save that for later. Holy dick nuggets. Super excited about that. All right, so we're headed west now. Get gank up in here. Give me another guaranteed fight here. It's not gonna be any fucking match for me. Thank you, Bus. It's a joke. sword. I, I gotta look that up, man. I either think that's really good or... The thing that sucks is you get uh, weapons that are for different alignments, and if you don't have the right class, for instance, I have a good and an evil knight, and I have plate mail that only works on neutral knights. So that's fucking annoying as fuck. Because it's better than what both of my guys have. So that's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. I'm kind of used to it with this fucking game. Alright, so once you kill those monsters, just head north again, just to show you. We've gone up from the south, we went straight north, came back, and now we're headed more north. Yank your robber or ninja or archer or whatever, you gotta open these doors. Opens one, two. Again, you could get here faster if you use the Etherealized spell, but I'm trying to not abuse the spell. We'll be done here by a minute 30. Matter of fact, I think I will use it one more time just to warp in on the... Yeah, well, it's not a big deal. It's all the same. Killing unicorns is apparently bad. Well, you shouldn't have attacked me, motherfucker. So I'm gonna take your gems. They will run like little bitches, by the way.
The point's looking good. Fuck it. Just block. Let's kill some sprites. And some spiders. I just like eradicating enemies. Go fuck yourself. Sprites, gnomes, all those little twats. Very magic resistant. I don't blame them. Big difference from the last video you saw, right? <laughs> All right, so from there, oh my god, so heavy combative, heavy combative, whatever. I'm gonna cut this battle out, you know I'm gonna win. Night night, motherfucker! Robber having to open all the fucking doors is so annoying. Oh my god, and another fucking encounter. Are you kidding me? I don't even think I rested. But I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna still decimate the shit out of you. Oh, come on. That was the pussiest fucking spell. Come on, yeah. I'm gonna be saving. Just getting fucked up. What Cyclops? Bless these skeletons. Fuck it, we'll gas another fireball. Oh, it's powerful enough. <laughs> Run away, little bitches. They just watch me slaughter their brethren and then they're just like, fuck this guy. He's not very fun, daddy. I don't even get how you get to level 25. Everything would run from you. I'm like level fucking 16 and shit is running from me like a bunch of little bitches. Alright. We're camping. I don't give a fuck if I just cast light. So I got the rest of this map. Jesus Christ. Skipping it. Coming to a close here on these poor little demons. We're skipping some of these battles because they're pretty fucking insignificant. And we'll still take the golden experience though. Especially gems. Alright, so then just take the wall all the way over to the left, slash west. And again, to be safe, I would dis I would unequip anything that helped might. Well, let's test it. Let's just save state and test it, because I'm really curious. Might 33, my 36. Let's see what happens. Gonna save state for testing purposes only. So that time it said plus four. Might 40, it went up, four. All 
All right, so that works. That's interesting. Some of the pools will not get you past 30, but some will. 23, the, the important thing is that our fighters got it without having to dis-equip the belt of power and the might of power. Might 40 now. Pretty huge. All right, folks, anyways, that's it. That's how you get all of the fountains and reset them in one video. Thanks for watching. Might and magic to the motherfucking loco, baby.